Hey yeah, so I just wanted to put together this quick video to outline how I was able to make Sending Blue form work. Um, and you can kind of just get a feel for like, you know, how comfortable you might be with that. And we can kind of go from there. So the first thing I did was I um, added all of the, um, uh, basically I added a whole bunch of uh, custom uh, like attributes uh, about the um, for the for the contact. So when I go in here, I have all of these, you know, all of the standard ones that I can select. So you know, there's the channel one, which is this one, um, and then there's also channel drill down one, channel drill down two, three landing page landing page group. So I did that by just going create a new attribute and adding that to sort of the the list of attributes kind of thing. Now the the in order to get these onto your form. What you need to do is you need to sort of drag them in. So I'm going to make this one channel drill down one, and then I'm going to turn off all of this stuff. And then I'm going to do this for all of them. I'll drag it into the bottom. Jeez, this is a very bad setup. There we go. So I'm going to make that uh, channel drill down two. And again, I'm just going to turn off all of these different things and so on and so forth. I won't keep doing that because it's probably a bit boring to watch, but basically the first step is to drag, you know, create fields for all of your attributes and then turn off everything um, about them because ultimately what we're going to want to do is make them hidden. Now, unfortunately, uh, Send in Blue does not have an out of the box way, like just a tick box here to make them hidden fields. It is possible, but you've got to edit the code, uh, the HTML code afterwards which is why I'm turning off all of these other things because when I go and make the, um, the form hidden using by editing the HTML, I don't want to have the label name and the help text and stuff there because then it's just going to be weird that that label or that help text will appear but there'll be no form field there because I've made it hidden. So that's why you want to turn all of them off and then you just want to go next, um, you know, Pick your list, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, you know, pick all of these sort of settings, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, you know, choose all your messages or whatever. Now, when it comes to the embed, what you want to do is you want to grab the HTML and just copy it all. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to just like an open text editor kind of thing, and we're going to paste it all in here. And then what we need to do is we need to look for these hidden these fields here so we can see there's channel drill down one uh, there's there's channel there there's channel drill down one there there's channel drill down two there now all we need to do is just change the type so go from type text to type hidden and uh, type hidden and then so that that, that then converts them into hidden fields and then what we want to do is we just need to add uh, the value so that we need to add that little um, modifier that that attributor looks for um, so that it's in the um, in the fields when they're there so the attributor can find it and replace it with the actual data. So what we just do is we go value equals uh, brackets and then we just put them in so the channel. Okay, so we put that one in there. Same with this one. So you could just copy and paste this. Uh, oh, and you're going to close the bracket. Sorry. And so there we go. So we can just copy this one and go um, value, and then that's channel drill down one, and then same thing here, channel drill down two. Now, so that so that's basically what we've done is we've converted these standard form fields into hidden fields, and then we've added uh, the default value to for that field. Um, as, as, and then put the uh, little code that attributor looks for in each of them. Now we just sort of take that updated HTML code, which apparently is massive. Um, and let's just start from the top and go all the way down here like this. Sorry, this is probably a bit boring to watch. Um, so then we take that and then you come over to your website and then you can put the, um, you know, you go into wherever you're going to put the form and you drop that HTML in and it will work. Now I won't, um, I won't sort of go through this process here because it's a bit, probably a bit boring, 
but I'll show you one that I just did um, just before where I did that exact thing. I modified the HTML code and then, um, and then put it in. So in this one, I actually only put in the channel because I was just sort of doing an initial test. But you can see here when John at Smith came, .com came along, he filled out the form, he entered his email address, and then it picked up channel equals paid social there. So it does work. Um, you've just got to be uh, sort of modify the HTML code a little bit. Unfortunately, uh, in this sort of form builder here, it doesn't give you the option to make them hidden fields. For whatever reason, they just don't do it there. If you're building landing pages um, and you're using the form builder that's built into the landing page tool, that gives you the option to add hidden fields. But for whatever reason, this one doesn't. So again, I think it's really just gonna come down to your level of comfort with this. Like if you're getting a developer to do that, this stuff is like like literally incredibly basic for uh, a developer. You know, these are, this is just literally the standard HTML um, code for a form field. And so changing it type to hidden and then adding the value is, is like literally HTML 101. Um, so if you're, if you're getting a developer to do this, they should not have a problem with that at all. Um, if you're sort of trying to do it yourself and maybe this is a little bit over, overwhelming, then that may be uh, a bit of a challenge and we can have a conversation about maybe you know, using another form builder or, or something like that. Anyway, just wanted to show you how that all works.